Welcome back to Gilbert's Repairs. Today we've got an easy task to do. We're just going to debadge the front end of my car here just to clean it up a bit. Uh, easy task with next to no tools at all. Very easy, easily achievable by anybody. If you found it useful today and it's given you the confidence to tackle this little job yourself, could you please like, subscribe and share. All right, let's get on with it. Today we're going to deep it. <laughs> right, so it's a basic task. This we've got this badge here. It's held on with foam adhesive, like a sticker foam. So all we're going to get ball of string. We'll cut off some string, and all we're doing is we're going to just use it as a cheese wire. This is everyday just domestic string. So we're going to put it in there. And we're going to rub it from side to side and we're cutting we're basically just cutting the foam off that's all we're doing i'll take you in for a closer shot and then you can see it happening so here we go we're just rubbing it side to side and we're cutting through the foam so we could peel that off now and there you have it so it's just a foam pad, that's all. I'll put it on, uh, I'll speed you up now and just zip through taking them all off and then I'll show you what to do afterwards. Okay, so there we have it. That's the badge removed. Now I'll show you how to get rid of the residual foam that's left there. Okay, next bit of this job, a little bit more enjoyable. Let's sit here, we'll eat this one. Okay, that's the best part of this job done. I've now got the tool required for the next bit. Okay, so the next part of this job, get a bit of WD-40. Just spray it on. And all that we're doing here, just putting some oil on there. Just to soften up the glue. Bit of the wife's kitchen roll. <laughs> And then all we're doing is using our lollipop stick that we worked hard to get, to get the tool. And all we're doing is scraping off the foam and the glue. The wood, the wood from the lollipop stick, it's not gonna scratch your paint. And the WD-40 is the uh, lubricant. Okay, I'll put it on a bit of time-lapse and uh, speed this job up for you. So there we have it. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but there is slight glue marks still, a bit of residual glue still on the paint there. I don't know if the camera's picking up. What I'll be doing, I will uh, I'll get some tea cut and just get rid of that. All right, bit of tea cut. And we'll uh, just buff away this glue residue. You can see the, you can see the bits of glue coming away with the chemicals from the uh, teacup. Right, 
Now for some uh, wax. All right, so there's the end result. The badge has been successfully removed. There is very slight, I don't know if you can pick it up, very slight uh, fading of the paint. So there is a very slight outline of the word Picasso in the uh, darker paint and the rest is faded, but there you go. You'd never know it was there. So if you're gonna debadge your car, if you're a young punk, and you want to debadge your Clio, this is how you do it. All right, so there we go. We've debadged it, the paint's smooth, it's now waxed, and we've used very basic stuff here. A bit of WD-40, some teacup, some wax, a cup of coffee. We've even had an ice cream out of this job. So just some lollipop sticks and some string. Very basic task. Uh, the only thing that I would say is some cars, we've done it on my boy's Clio, it's got two pegs, it's got two pins on the badge. So when we debadged it, it did leave two holes in the bodywork. So be aware of that if you're, uh, if you're gonna take on this little task on your car. Anyway, if you've, uh, found this useful today and it's given you the confidence to carry the task yourself on your own car, could you please like, subscribe and share and I'll see you next time.